Good morning and everyone, welcome to the U.S. Invitational, coming to you live from Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. This is Paul Grant along with Bob Lee. Thank you for joining us. We'll be doing this every day through Saturday, 9 a.m. in our championship match through Saturday. Today it's the Hatchet Man against the Dummy Team. Leading off is Rich Lamoni, 116 league average out of Winthrop, Massachusetts. The Hatchet Men are 18 and 30 coming in. To qualify for two points for a win, a one for a tie, and two for total, as Rich gets a 10 to start it off. Rich Lamone, that is. Uh, they'll need 556 to win the dummy team. So it's not a gimme to get six points here. Two string total, two for a win, one for a tie, two for total. Ten teams will qualify out of 17 for the playoffs, which will begin tomorrow afternoon with the finals on Saturday. So, Hatcherman, Rich Lamone, start off. We want to get off to a good start. And he has the 3-6-10 on the right with a piece of wood on 35. Yeah, a 10 in the first. And yep. uh, working on this for a spare. He's, so uh, the way we're keeping score on the, on the screen, uh, Paul, we're going to call him one down now after getting a 10 because the dummy always gets an 11. Okay. And However, he gets he's his gonna spare. Get a spare. Yep. 20 he's after go 2. Up. Rich Lamone's 10 and a spare, 20 after 2 plus a ball. Have to clear the wood there before we start. Next up, the number 2 bowler, Mike Kane out of Peabody, league average of 109. Five matches today, Bob, correct? Five matches, this is the first one. We did five yesterday, four on Tuesday. Singles matches were on Monday. And Mike is right on the head pin with a nice piece of wood here, going for a spare in his first box of the first string. Two string matches all day. To thank Bob Lee for all the incredible work behind the scenes, the camera work. This is the spare. And he's going for a two-pin leave here. Got the nine and the ten. Which ones he pick? He gets the ten for a nine box. Nine after one for Mike Kane for the Hatchetman. 18 and 30 coming into today. And currently they're in tenth place, I believe. So they're on the on the edge of the playoff round. Little ball on 35 for the first five, and the ball on 36 in the second half. Well, the whole string on 35, probably. Not sure how it works. They're still both two and two, I believe. 235 and 236. What a shot for a spare! Mike Kane delivers. He has 19 and a ball after two. You're at 39 plus two bonus balls, so each. Rich Lamone and Mike Kane, each of the spare in their second boxes. A good start for the Hatchet men. Again, they'll need to average a 111 plus one for each ball to qualify for points against the dummy team. Uneven amount of teams this year, 17. Here's Aaron Fontaine, bowling third for the Hatchet men out of North Brookfield, Massachusetts with a 115 league average. He's off to the right, punches two in his first box of the first string of two. Aaron looking for big fill here in the second ball. Not in the spare, of course, first box. Misses it right in the same hole. So eight standing, he'll need a big out here. Third ball, what an out. He got seven. Not a great score, but a big out. He got five in that one. After two and a, and a miss. Seven after one. Aaron Fontaine there at 46 right now. Second box, first string, live from Lita Lanes, National Hampshire. This is the U.S. Invitational. Normally it's the world, but Canada due to COVID is not here. Nine drop, leaving the five. Chance for a spare to make up for that seven box. Wood gets out of the way, which is helpful. 
Throws in the same spot, he'll get a spare. Aaron gets it. All three bowlers open first boxes. All three bowlers spares in the second boxes. He's at 17 after two in a ball. 56 plus three bonus balls for the Hatcherman. Again, 556 is the magic number to win two points. 555 would be a tie. Anything less would be a loss. Six points up for grabs. Fourth bowler out of five is John Blaze. He's a duck pin bowler, hasn't bowled in the league recently. Punches two full in the head pin, leaves up six. So 122 when he bowls in the league out of Southbridge, Mass. I asked him if duck pin hurts him. He said actually he thinks it helps him in candle pin bowling. Punches one on the left, and he's got five. He needs some help here for a, a big out. And he's on the head pin there, the right side anyway. Object pin, he gets nine. Good out there, nine to start it off. All four bowlers open in their first box. Can he follow suit with the first three bowlers and get a mark in the second box? Yeah, John, John bowled a 200 in candle pin uh, last year, uh, ball. That's amazing. He doesn't bowl. He says he hasn't bowled really in the league for quite a while. You see him around the circuit, though. He, he, he comes to the, the scratch events. He's, a, he's more of a tournament bowler, I guess. And he's on the head pin, a nine drop, but a golden chance for a spare. Trying to keep pace with the top three bowlers in their team with Mox in their second box. I, I bowled 10 pin one time. I don't bowl 10 pin, but I bowled one time. That I threw a candle pin ball, and it, looked, it felt like a marble. <laughs> So, the duck pin balls are uh, one pound heavier. And he gets the spare, so all four bowlers with spares in their second box. John Duckpin Blaze delivers 19 on the ball after two. That's right, they're, so they're, they're gonna need fills. The fills are gonna be determinant here. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna get a spare. <laughs> you know, that's, a, that's actually pretty generous, getting a spare every other time. But for every fill, they're gonna, they're gonna have to make up for all the pins they, they miss. And remember, the dummy's adding up 11 per box. So even though, you know, even though it looks like they're ahead right now, they're, they're not until they get their fills, because the, the dummies each get 22. Here's Chris, Chris Winniards. He's on the head pin, he's got a triangle there. Chris, 116 league average out of Manchester, New Hampshire. Just bought a car there recently. My wife's 25th uh, Christmas anniversary. Oh. Up to the right there. I think he just wants to wait for the second box to get a mark. He's known affectionately as Harry Potter or the Wizard because of because of his name, his name? and maybe because, uh, and his look. And he only gets eight out of that one, so eight for Chris Winniars to start the first box. His first string of two. U.S. Invitational, Lita Lanes, Nashua, New Hampshire. Great facility. New lanes, new sidewalls. Pins have great action. I've seen a lot of spectacular shots this week. A lot of spread eagles, a lot of half whiskers too. And a bunch of 1710s. We've seen 14 1710s. One converted out of 14 in the first the last yeah, two days. Just on lanes 35 and 36. Yeah. All right, he's got the one, three, and eight pin. Can he keep pace for a spare? No. So he'll be the only ball so far open. All right, scores of 10, nine, seven, nine, and, and now uh, and nine box. And nine. So you know, those, those are the pins they're going to have to make up with, yep. these, with these fill balls. So the Wizards, 17 after two, 92 plus four bonus balls. For the Hatchiman. Again, the number is 556 to win. About to average 111 a bowl of plus one pin more. All their averages are above 111, except for Mike Kane, 109. Yesterday we saw some anchor bowlers struggle, and but their team still won pretty handily. That was his fill ball, six, six on his spare. That'll bring him to 26 after two. Rich Limone on 36. Off the head pin. Can he go back? Not quite. Well, 
going for a 10, uh, 10 box here. Missed it wide, wasn't there. Nine to 35 after three for Rich Lamone. 35 after three, they're up to 107 for a team. Still have three bonus balls coming up here. Rich balls like I do, he starts on the left-hand side. Usually a lot of right-hand balls tend to go middle right. Off to the right that time. He's got the four horsemen left, plus the 10 pin on the right. Not a high percentage shot here. 20% for a pro. And speaking of 1710s, there's our first one today. 11. 15 now we've seen in two plus days. We're doing this tomorrow morning and Saturday morning, 9 a.m. U.S. Invitationals here, Lita Lanes, Nashua. Missed it. All right, see, so now the spare and he's over his box, he's at 42, but his dummy opponent is at 44. So that's seven boxes, he's at 42 after four. 114 for the team so far. Three more marks coming up though. Mike Kane on a spare here. I'll be putting the score up just as soon as we're finished with the, uh, and with the third and fourth boxes, Paul. A familiar half Worcester spare fill again. We've seen a lot of those. 12 on the box, 21 after two for Mike Kane. In his third box of the first string. On the head pin, leaves up the diamond. Left side. These bowlers move pretty quick. We don't have to wait two. for the dummy. The dummy, the dummy just goes in his imagination. Eight box gives him 29 after three despite a spare. But a half wish to fill hurt him. 124 is the team score. Fourth box, first string for Mike Kane. On the head pin again, gets six. He's got the five in the back. He's got the three, six, ten on the right. Bowls of Metro Bowl and Peabody. Come on. Good hit. Five wouldn't go. That five pin's been stubborn a lot of times. A lot of spares have been missed by one pin. Common denominator has been the five pin. Left up. And miss. Oh, he gets it. Ten box. All right. To 39 after four. His dummy's at 44. So he's yeah, it's, uh, already seven pins down for the first two bowlers, even with the spare. Okay. That's. Well, again, 556, the magic number. 111 average for a bowler, plus one. Third bowler, now Aaron Fontana working on a spare here. He had a seven in this first box. He has 17 plus. Off to the right, gets five. 22 after two. 144 for the team right now, currently. Hooked it right again. Missed everything. Five standing, one ball to go. Third ball, first string. For the out, and hooked it, got one, six. So two balls despite spares are under the minimum. He's at 28 after three. Hatchman down in the match to the dummy team. Right now, early. Aaron Fontaine, North Brookfield, Mass. On his fourth box of the first string. Winner of the Outrun the Bears scratch uh, singles competition earlier this summer. Is that Millis? Yep. It's always a Millis, isn't it? Outrun the Bear? That's Danny and Kate Finn's tournament. Yep. That's where Danny works. And he could try there for the spare after only getting three in the first ball. 6'10 right side. $2,500 for the winner of that one. That was Aaron. Oh. Nine box. He's at 37 after four. And his dummy is at 44. And Corey Packard won $2,500 of the Chicha recently. Yeah. 
John Blaze. On 36 here from Nashua. Head pin, good hit. His electronic scoreboard is shut down. Okay, so scoreboard is down again. So we can figure that out. Five on the spare, Phil. Now it's up. That gives him 24 of the two. First another spare. Wood won't go. Leads up three. Four, seven, ten. The fills have not been generous so far. Five's been the biggest fill. Well, one was a six. The rest have been twos and low scores. Five for a ten. He gets a nine out of that, actually. So now he's at 33 after three. Spare six, spare two. Spare five. Spare five. Head pin hit, leads up the 10 pin. And one more falls. Wood could help him here. He's got the twos, the two, seven, 10. Try for a spare here. Their early momentum has slowed down considerably here. In the first string. Two string matches here all day. First of five from Needle Lanes and Nashua. U.S. Invitational. Get some coaching how to play this. How do you see it, Bob? How do you play this one? Uh, I'd play it left of that of that uh, two pin. He goes for it, missed it. And that's been wrong. I, I thought I thought it might it might carry through from the left side with the ball and the wood. So for a ten, missed it. Nine box, forty-two after four. Hatch him in up to one seventy-seven now. With their anchor bowler, Chris Winniars, the wizard, coming up here on 36. He did not get a mark in his first two. Had an eight and a nine for a 17 start. So, so they're behind the pace right now. Yeah, you got to know the, the, dummy, the dummies are going to be at 220 after four. They're, they're just at 177 right now. They need 43. Just a tie. 44 to take the lead. Off the head pin, but gets seven. Leaves the one, two, and ten. Chris looking for a spare here. Can he pick it up? He missed it oh. to the left. Got the two. One ten remaining. Slides though, a beauty shot. 10 box, 27 out to three for Chris. 187 is a team total. So they'll be down after five. To the dummy team. On the head pin, gets the right to fall. Could it be a strike? It does! First strike of the match, and they needed that one. Chris Winniars, out of Manchester, New Hampshire, delivers his first mark a strike, 37. Plus two after four, and they're up to 197. All the other boxes are open. So four spares and one strike each ball over the mark now, one each for the Hatcherman, 18 and 30 coming in. Golden opportunity to get six here if they can Hit a 5.56 or higher against the dummy team. Top of the order now, Rich Lamone. Lamone from Winthrop, Massachusetts. Again, league average around 116. With a 1.36 and 8 on his fifth box of the first string. Goes to the right, gets two. One eight pin remaining. One and eight. Gets the eight pin, leads up the head pin, nine for a 51 after five, 206 team total. Here in the first of two strings. 
the dummy team was up 23 after the first uh, four. But uh, Winniards is on a strike, so two balls. So it's 23 minus two balls. Thanks, Bob. Seventeen teams competing. One dummy team trying to play the role of spoiler. That's There's a nice one. shot there. There's one. Got it. Okay. Nine pin standing. He could nudge the wood in the left and still go. Want to go right at the pin though. Want to go right at the pin though. He nudge on the left maybe, but he goes He's right at the it. pin and gets it. it. 61 in the ball after six for Rich Lamone. Two 16 plus two bonus balls for the Hatchet Men. Second ball of Mike Kane. He's at 39, I believe. I see right after four. Yep. Rich is captain, by the We're way. We're a little further back. What was that? Rich is the captain of the team. Rich Lamone, okay. Yeah, it's just bowling. wide right, it's three. He gets the head pin, but only gets three. Yep. Triangle, <laughs> left side. Four, seven, eight, ten. Third ball, fifth box, first string. Gets two, eight box, 40. Eight box gives him 47. 27 after five. Dummy keeps scoring 11 though. Lead, lead is up to 27, but uh, three balls come in for the hatchet man. One spare, two strikes. One strike, one strike, one spare. Mike Kane, six box, first string of two here at the U.S. Invitational. Lee Lanes, Nashua, New Hampshire. Paul Grant along with Bob Lee. Solid head pin hit. Can he get one in the corner of the go? No, and he's got a oh. difficult leave here. He's got the seven, the nine, and the 10. He's going Hits right. It right. Won't oh, put the nine, goodness. won't go though. Nice try by Kane. Nine box gives him 56 after six. They're gonna start needing some marks here. They're down in the match. Another 11 for the dummy. Aaron Fontaine, open here, 37 after four. All bowlers are on the board with a mark, at least one it's each. Good, it's a good way for a, one, a 110 bowler to practice here. He's going, going up against a 110 score every time. Yeah. See what Aaron 111, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, he says 109 average for Mike Kane. I know, but a, what? He just went easy to get a 111, yeah. yeah. It, 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 his opponent is getting a 111 every time, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh. So 11, 11 pins for everybody. And yesterday we had a lot of trouble with the sweeper on 35, and here we go again. See if the scoreboard will cooperate. So far, so good. Fingers crossed. We're in the first string of two at the U.S. Invitational here in Nashua at Lita Lanes. Aaron Fontaine, the third of five bowlers. On his fifth box, coming up here. So, Bob, do you can you explain to the audience the playoff do you, the playoff format coming up for the weekend? Uh, I it. it uh no, <laughs> I don't want to I know, get it I know, wrong. <laughs> I know there's 10 teams out of 17 that will make the playoffs. Two will get a bye. And then the, the, other, the other eight are competing in a, in a knockout. I believe they're bye last until the semifinal round. They're doing a lane, lane uh, repair here on 35. But um, my understanding is they, they get to skip two. They get to skip two rounds. So the, you'd have 10 versus three and uh, nine versus four. And then those two teams would play off against each other. The two remaining teams play against the two top teams. But, but I, 
that that was what I heard at dinner, and I don't want to. I hate to. I hate and to they do they do recede every time. It's always the lowest versus the highest team too. In our brackets. So we'll get clarification on that as, as we go along. No Canada this year due to COVID. Usually it's called the Worlds. Thus the U.S. Invitational, the name. Privileged to be with you here today. 9 a.m. every day through Saturday. It's Thursday morning. Okay, 35 now is fixed. Aaron Fontaine on his fifth and sixth box is coming up here. On the head, pin, solid shot, can it go? No, it gets nine though. 10 pin standing. They're down a bunch, you can really use the rock here to the dummy team. I haven't got the dummy team's record so far. Have you got the dummy team's record by any chance, Bob? No, I was just getting uh, the playoff situation. And he gets the spare, right on. It is, it is two rounds of bye. Um, so, so if you if you're one of the top two teams, you you don't you don't bowl Friday night and you get a round off on Saturday morning. Well, the other t eight teams fight it off for the second for the uh, third yeah. and fourth slot. It's like the women's softball tournament. Okay, the spare gives him a 47 plus a bar and the six box coming up here. Missed it. Four horsemen right side. Fifty-three now after five for Aaron Fontaine. For another spare, he's off though. Gets three. Took up the three six ten. Head pin standing. Ten box. Sixty-three after six for Aaron Fontaine for the Hatchetman. You're up to two fifty-nine right now. Still down in the match. His opponent has 66, so he's down three. How much are they down overall right now? Uh, I'm working on that right now. Paul. John Blaze coming up. I'm going to wait for that strike before we... Uh... On his fifth box for a string, gets six, seven, eight, nine. You got to stay away from that cap. Go right at that pin. Fourth and standing, can he pick it up? He goes for the tip, he did cap it and get it. Sometimes it'll bounce around, that one went through. Spare, 52 and a ball, after five for John Blaze. On the spare, off. Get some action here. Six. Six is the fill. 16 in the box. 58 now after five for John. It's the one, the eight, the six, and the ten for a spare opportunity. Oh, what a oh, shot! No. Oh, no, ping pong no. action won't go. Eight pin still there. Or 10, gets it. Scoreboard will go red when a ball goes too far. Remains in the gutter or a pin goes out of play. They, they push a button uh, so that it doesn't register as a, as a, as a gutter ball. Okay. There's a button up on the desk there. Right. Oh. So his score just updated now, so he's at 71 now after six. Yeah, he's five up on his dummy. His, his opponent has 66. Minus three, he had a six Okay, minus, uh, minus, minus three, three on the score there. Okay, all right, minus three on the score. That's a 68 there. All right, so 68 officially, 71 total on the scoreboard. So it'll be 285 for the team total, not 288 there. Here's our first scoreboard malfunction of the day. Chris Winniars, the anchor bowler. 
for the Hatchman on a strike here. Double strike would definitely help him. It's really good for Devo. Oh my he God! He it. What a shot! That's the seven pin took time, but it went down. Devo doesn't strike. do that. Eleven, eleven uh, box won't get you that. The wizard strikes. Wow! So the dummies are going to have three thirty after the after the sixth frame, they're, and they're now at three oh three. With uh, this ball counts twice for Winniars. Twenty plus the ball in this first one. Then 10 plus. Looking for a triple strike. Off the head pin. Got the Kamrowski special with Full Horseman. 26 in that first strike, Phil. 53 after four. Yeah, 27 is first three. For a spare, gets three. 19, good fill though. 72 after five. Looking for a 10 here. Missed it. 81 after six. Sensational bowling by Chris Winniars. So take three off the total. That three, five up. Is that five up, three off the total, right? Is that three? So it's a one pin lead for the dummies. That's, that's 319 there, right? Correct. Yep. All right, 319 total. It says 322, but minus three scoreboard error. Hatcherman down by one. As we go into our final four boxes here. To the five bowlers, Rich Lamone on 36 here. He's using the bonus. He's got three in the spares at 64 now and punches the one five. A lot of their fills have been. Not what they wanted. That did put them in the lead by, by two for the moment. It's a seven box though. 71 after seven for Rich Lamone. And the dummies just took the lead back. 339 is the official score for the Hatcherman. Bob keeping track for us on the string total, match total. A lot of these yesterday too, the Spread Eagle plus one. Let's go, what are you talking about? Turn now, let's go. Come on, let's go. Everybody throw a couple of you. This is a U.S. Invitational live from Lita Lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. 36 lanes, right down the hole. And a big out here. Lamone, third ball, looking for a big out. Gets a bunch. Only three though. Six box, 77 after eight. 345 is the total for the team right now. Tough break there. Dummies are up to 352, so that's a seven pin lead. Can the dummy team make the playoffs? Uh, I don't believe so. <laughs> I think 11 teams would make it there. Uh, I just had to ask that question. <laughs> right, we'll put that up officially. Okay. Mike Kane now. One, two, four pin going for a spare here. In his seventh box of the first string. He gets it. Hit the outside pin. Got it to go. With that spare, he's at 66. 66 in the ball. 355 plus the ball. The only mark for them right now. Dummy got an 11, though. Hey, spare fill, he's off. Oh. A three, wow. A lot of subpar fills here in the first string. Chris Winnie has had a double strike to help them. Drops the lead to five for the moment. He's off to left. He's up three. Got the one, three, and seven. And he gets a 10, nice 10. 79 after eight for Mike Kane. Dummies are up six now. Plenty 11. of time to go. Go ahead, sorry, Bob. Yep, 
So uh, I'm going to start keeping track of the of the score on on the uh, on the graphic underneath the bowlers. And uh, the dummies have a uh, six pin lead. They had a 330 through three. Here's Aaron Fontaine with box first swing at 63 up to six. He has the five seven tiny piece of wood there. Or a spare, goes to the right, missed it everything. Missed it wide right. For a 10. It goes. Same ball in the second would have been a spare, but he missed it, so a 10 box. 73 after seven. Dummies up, to, up seven now. They got another 11, believe it or not. Aaron Fontaine in his eighth box of the first string out of two, two string matches. First of five today at the U.S. Invitational here from Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. Five left side. Same, th same thing on the right side, it'll be a spare. Can you pick it up? Oh, the 10 wouldn't go. Yeah, the, the dummies are well above 500. Uh, I just saw Dave Barber. He doesn't have the number, handy, but it, it says they, they've won. They've won most of their contests. He gets a 10 box. That'll give him 83 after eight. So losing another pin to the dummies. Yeah, uh, lead is eight. Wouldn't that be interesting? The dummies could make the playoffs, and one team would, you know, have a, a good chance to winning. Yeah, it's not not very good competition, though, as you can see. <laughs> Imagine a dummy team getting eight thousand dollars. <laughs> I guess for the winner. Give, give it to Candlebins for cancer, I guess. Yep, that would be a good thing. Sorry. Thank you. There, there it is. is for a spare. 81 on the ball after seven for John Blaze. Looking 81 on the ball after seven. 398 team total. He needs a nine drop here to even the score with the dummies for the team. Strike would come in handy here. He nails the head pin, gets seven. He's up to three, six, and four pin. Lead is down to two now. 88 after seven now for John. Tries to sweep that wood over. Doesn't. Oh, what a shot. Got the pin, the wood went to the right. Almost bounced back. It, it, it bounced back and uh, fell in the pit before. The, Just uh, four four. pin for 10, nudges it. 10 box, 98 after eight for John. Inkable of Chris Winniars coming up here. Winniars had a double strike earlier in the string. He's at 81 after six. What's the total now, uh, Bob? Gummies have a, a three-pin advantage. Remember that that 418 you see on the uh, on the total is actually a 415 because of the electronic scoring error. Don't blame Bob Lee or myself. That's nothing to do with us, the scoreboard. <laughs> Everything else we, we'll take credit for yeah. or blame. <laughs> Right, he's got the Caleri here. One for a spare. Eight blocks for a string. Punches out the two pin. So far, a little further behind. The dummy team. One, four, seven, nine pin remaining. Hooked it, missed it all. Six blocks, 87 after seven. That's a five pin loss. It's eight pin now, right? Eight yep. pins in the match. Dummy team in the lead. Time is starting to wind down here. Chris also starts on the left side as a right hander. Head pin hit. He gets That's the 10 it. to fall this time. That's He's it. He's got the two and four pin spare lead here in the eighth box. First string of two at the US Invitational.
for a spare. Oh. Missed it to the right. That hurt. The dummy team will increase their lead to at least nine. And he gets a nine, so it'll be a 10 pin lead for the dummy team. That gives him 96 after eight. Missed opportunity there. Yeah, we'll check our score. It's 440 to 430 now. It is a 10 pin lead, that is confirmed. Some missed opportunities here for the Hatchetman. 430 is their total. 420, like Bob said. Right, 440, 440, 440, 440 rather for the dummies. Dummy. 11 apiece. 430. Per box. Top of the order, Rich Lamone. Final two boxes, the first string. The one, the two, the seven, and the eight pin. What can help him here for a spare if he gets it right? And he gets it! He turned around, didn't see it go, but. I always joke that if you turn around, don't watch it, it doesn't count, but it counts for a spare. He needed that one. 87 in a ball after nine for Rich Lamone. Another mark here would change the complexion of the game. If he gets a nine or a 10 drop, I'm going for the hatchet man. Oh, on the head, on. gets eight. He's up to six. On the right, seven, pin on the left. Lead is down to three now. She kick it over. Try, but it wouldn't go. Dummy Tim will gain at least one pin here. More pin lead currently for the dummy team. 10 keeps it at four. 105 for Rich Lamone in the first string for the hatchet men. Four pin lead for the dummy team. Four more balls to go here in the first string of this two string match. Fix my graphic up there. And we got four more matches to go after this. Mike Kane, the 73 after his first eight. There's one spare so far after the second box. Head pin hit. Five pin goes, but he leaves a 7 10. He's got some wood to help. Wood's a little higher. Let's see how he plays it. Definitely have to go the right side. This ninth box of the first string. For a spare! Wouldn't get the seven pin. So at least a five pin lead now for the dummy team. It stays five for that 10 box. 89, 83, 83 right? 83 after nine. 83 up to nine for Mike Kane. Final box of the first string. Could use a mark here. They're gonna need two marks, maybe three, depending yep. on, on how they uh, how many they leave on the on the yep. deck. Three would three would help for sure. And these balls are capable of doing that easily. But it's been a struggle so far. He has the Kaleri. Yeah, that's a 20 percenter. So Pro bowlers uh, have a, a 120 bowler will have a uh, have four marks per game. These guys are more more around the 110, 111 range. You're, you're, you're talking, you know, they have to get their th they have to make their three marks per game and get good fills. There's a 10. Right. So 93. Is that 93 or 99? I can see that from here. It's a 99. It's not, okay, you couldn't see this. It's hard to see this scoreboard from here. We're way back. 99, actually, is the total. No mark there, but 99 from Mike Kane. You can always look on the screen right next to you and see it up here. Okay. It's the lead six now. Unofficially, Dummies are going to finish with a 550. A 550. 555. 555, right. right. So 556, oh, the magic number. 
They're at 478 right now. 78 pins to win. Yeah, we should give the dummies another five That's pins. Then. The dummies really have 11 then. Yeah. Because they get they get uh, 11 boxes. Get an extra, so, extra five pins added to their score. So they're at 478, 22, and so 78 is the magic number to win by one pin for the hatchman. 78 with six boxes to go. Yeah, that's good. You're gonna really need three marks probably to do that. Yeah, they need 18 bonus pins and nothing left on the plate to tie. Nobody at, no marks, no marks out there. They need a lane repair on a 35. Uh, so Bob, do you know who has the high single so far in this team competition, or the high singles in the singles tournament? They just announced it and I didn't write it down. So wait for 35 again to be fixed. A lot of trouble on 35 this week. The scoreboard is off by three pins. So the 481 you see is 478 for the Hatchetman. Unofficially, so. The high team score was 610 yesterday, which is low, low for the uh, U.S. invitation. It would be low for the world. Some, they're bowling five matches. If some bowlers are taking a string or two off here and there, so it's difficult to keep that up. Bowling three, four, five matches a day at times. I heard a lot, of, a lot of talk at dinner about the lanes playing tough today, um, even though they're all slick and and smooth and the, and the walls the walls are definitely uh, more receptive. Okay, waiting for 35 to get repaired. There's a lot of geometry that, that nobody's really figured out. You, 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 you apply extra, extra silicon on the, uh, to, to let the pins roll more and these, they don't fall down quite as easily. It's, it, it, it's not always... Uh, uh, going up in Salem, Mass, Canopy the Lanes had pretty good action, but I remember Metro Bowl and Peabody, those pins had tons of action. And, I, the Linway and they rolled had, forward, too. In the Linway, when I bowled Linway a few times, uh, not in the league, they had good action, too. Matt, Matt Susie's helping out on the... He's, he's, he's one of the lead of mechanics as well as a bowler in the competition today. Matt Susie bowled recently in the Chicha National, finished fourth out of 64 bowlers. Won a $40 prize money from that match. This is Paul Grant with Bob Lee at Lita Lanes National, New Hampshire, the U.S. Invitational. Singles matches were on Monday. This is our third day of team competition. Our first of five matches. Right now, 78 pins is the magic number to win for the Hatchetmen against the dummy team. The dummy team, we don't have the official record, but we're told they're over 500. But they can't qualify for the playoffs. Is dummy. a lot of buy matches down here? No, this is our first buy match we've, we've, we've announced so far. It's different. Yeah. It's still exciting though. Yes, it is. Because you're still competing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Of course yeah. I, I bowled in the uh, Friday Night Mixed League for almost 20 years in Nadek and Millis with Rick Kimrowski and crew, and uh, we, we were matching, the dummy team took all eight. So uh, confirmed, they, they do need 78 pins to tie. Okay. Um, so our, lead, our, our scoreboard is adjusted on the, uh, on the graphics. Six boxes to go, Aaron Fontaine, the third bowler. 115, 115 league average out of North Brookfield, Mass. He's at 83 after six so far. Seven blocks, first string of two here from Lita Lanes in Nashua. U.S. Invitational. Off to the left, needs some help, gets the head for the oh, fall, gets nine, can oh, he get the strike? A, what a nine drop. Leads up the eight pin. Gotta be careful that cap. We really need a spare here. Missed a couple of opportunities earlier. For the spare, missed it to the left. Ouch. Ooh. He 
Gets a 10. You want to miss it to the right if you're going to miss it all. Went left. Gets a 10 box. A 93, right? Okay. Yep. 93 after 9. Aaron Fontaine. So another pin gained for the dummy team. 68 now at 5 boxes to win the string. Triangle right corner, seven pin left. This will not be easy. If he doesn't convert here, Bob, the last two balls have got a basically a three out of four. More than likely to have a chance to win. Can he sweep it over? No. Another pin gain for the dummy team. At least one. He's just ten. Is that a ten or is that good? He hit the foul. That was a yeah. foul. So it's nine box, gain of two for the dummy team. 102. Aaron Fontaine. So all three bowls are under their average so far in the first string. John Blaze at 98 after his eight coming in here. They're at 497. Did he get the 556? Only four boxes to go. And not helping is a half whistle left. John Blaze, Southbridge, Massachusetts. Good try. He's up to 710. It might come down to a double strike, which they. Chris, actually, Chris Winnie is the anchor, got a double strike earlier. He might need another one to get this to win. There's an oh eight. 106 after nine. 505. They need 51 in three boxes. They could do it without a double strike. They'll need three marks, though. Need something here for sure. Yeah. Off to the right, punches again. He's up five. The one, two, seven, eight, ten pin remaining. For a spare! No! And that means Chris may have to get another double strike. Yeah, it's gonna, he's going to need a double strike seven. You know, it, these two pins are critical. It's nine. Now it's a double strike eight. 115, the final score for. Double strike nine. John Blaze is the nine box. Well, 115. I mean, he, he has two boxes, though. He has two boxes. So he needs. You're at 514. He's 42. He needs 21 extra pins with two, with two boxes, so he will need a double strike, a spare. You know, so he has to get, has to get uh, 21 bonus pins plus the 10 down. He had double strike in his third and fourth box. Have you seen anybody ever get a double strike twice in one string? Oh, yes, yeah, Austin Barnes. The ball's in the academy in Haverhill. No, half Worcester, and that's going to make it really difficult now. Can't do it now. Dummy team are going to take the first string. As none of the bowlers so far have hit their average. Well, he, he can still do it. If he gets all 10 of these, then it, and then gets a, a double strike nine or a 30, I think he's still in it. But that's it. But a four that's box it. will do it. Yep. 100 after nine. Is there a psychological difference, you think, when you ball a dummy team, like maybe you're not as locked in or you're not maybe relaxed a little bit mentally? <laughs> it, 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 is, it does feel like more like a practice round or a practice competition. Hey, it's a strike. That'll help get the total closer. Yeah, he absolutely needs to needs pay attention. 110 plus two balls. It's third strike. Of the string. 528. One more string to go here in this two string match. Our the first of five. Dummies are 555. So he's got a chance to go over his 116 league average. 
get seven in the first ball. Now it's just a question how many pins you can get to close the gap in total. Got the one, two, and ten pin remaining. Going for a spare and strike in the tenth box. Gets nine on the strike, Phil. 119 first string, but it's not enough. Yeah, it's a 537. The dummies win by 18. 555 the dummies automatically and 537 the Hatcherman. So again, after one score, 18 pin deficit for the Hatcherman. One more string to go here. You're watching the U.S. Invitational from Lee Lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. This is Paul Grant along with Bob Lee. And we have a lineup change here possibly coming up for the Hatchetman. As Rich, Rich Lamone starts out the second string, misses the head pin, gets eight. I'm oh, sorry, leaves the 1710 rather, instructed view. It's our second 1710 today. 16 we've seen so far, two plus days. Only one converted. It's for a spare. No. Missed it all. Dummy team gets an automatic 111 for each bowl of 555 total. And missed it all again. Seven blocks, so it's a four pin lead for the dummy team already. F just one box in the second string. Rich had a 105 in the first string. Looking to bounce back. They're down 18 74 to win the match. You get four points out of the six. Help with his seating. And there's a strike. All right. Rich Lamone had a seven gets the, comes back with a strike. That's gonna help them. 17 plus two after one. We're not on a high perch here. We get a little blocked out sometimes in the right lane. Second ball. Is there a line change here? That's not Mike Kane. Sarah Fontaine. And Fontaine's going to bowl second now. He bowled third last string. Head pin hit. Got the six and the nine pin for a spare opportunity here. Get a 102 in the first string, and he gets a spare here. In his first box, second string. The Hatcherman settled off the first with spares on each ball of second box, the first four. When he has didn't mark in his first two, but got a double strike, and it was looking good for them. And slowly went down. And they lost the first by 18 to the dummy team. On a spare fill. Chops the head. Twister plus one, a three fill. So a lot of fills like that in the first string also, which hurt their total. 13 after one. Missed it totally. Second box, second string. Oh no. Punch out the half whistle left. It's a five box. So despite a spare, he's at 18 after two. Three more pins picked up by the dummy team. They're at 35, plus two bonus balls on the strike by Rich Lamone. This is John Blaze now, going third. Pulled fourth in the first string. Head pin hit, but it has a split. It has the two, four, seven on the left, nine and the ten. Try to sweep the two, four, seven over. You play it off the wood, maybe? He yep, does. He and oh, will it go? Pin. No, the four pin oh. still standing. What a try. Keep the pin here. 
gets the 10 box. So basically, like Bob said, every, every box is an 11 box for the dummy team. 10 to start the second string for John Blaze. And then they get that magical extra five in the, in the 10th frame. Second box for John, second string. On 36 here, Lita Lane's in Nashua, U.S. Invitational. He's off to the right, gets four. That's the one, two. One, Play, two. Plays a lot like the half worcester. It goes a little easier. It's the one, two, four, eight on the left, six and ten on the right. Punched out a quarter, the two pin. Is it called a quarter Worcester? I know there's a half Worcester. Do you call it the quarter Worcester? Yeah, that, that's what, that's exactly. Um, it's an old reference to nine pin when you had the, the king pin ball, the, the five, what we call the five pin in the middle, was, an, was a larger pin. It was surrounded by smaller pins, and the ones on the sides were called the quarter pins. I think it's a six box out of that, 16 after two. We'll lose five pins there. And who do we have up here now on the fourth box? John Blaze. Hey, hey, the here's how to do it. All right, I got I got the uh, I got the lineup mixed up here then. I got Give us a lineup change here. So, I thought John we, was. We know these guys. All right, on a strike. Seven on the first ball. Three, six, ten remaining. He gets there a spare on strike. Good start. Thirty in a ball up to two. He picks up. Eight versus the dummies, 22, and a ball. Okay. Pete Pereira next. Pete Pereira on his back, you can see it. In for the hatchet man. And he has a missed ahead pin, but gets eight on that. Who's the third bowler now? Chris is bowling. All right, I got it mixed up. Yeah, we put Peter Pereira in. Oh. So, Mr. Headpin, he's up one. So, Chris Winnier is actually bowled third now. John Blaze is fourth. And now Pete Pereira is the anchor. Ten box to start the second string. You just took a big bite out of it. 91. But they have a strike and a spare coming up. And a 110 after, after, yeah. Pete, second box, second string of two. Head pin hit. He's up three. He's got the four, the seven, and the five pin. When you play this far, do you go to the right side or you go to the left side? Uh, you, you have to play the pin. It's sort of like hitting a head pin. You gotta hit it with spin or action and, and hope that you take it. It's like hitting the one, two, three. Some, some play it left, some play it right side though. The, the best advice I've heard from Craig Holbrook is play, play it so that you're uh, on the right side so that you can use the wall. Okay. So, so if you hit the head, head pin thin, it'll bounce back off the wall. Okay. Thank you. Pair of tens there for Pete Pereira gives him 101. They're down nine the, right so now. Yeah, right? The dummies have 110. They're down nine, but they've got three balls. So I, I don't mind. I don't mind that position. Two strikes in spare, but they get down 18 in total, though, coming in. Yep. The total. The total's tough. We're gonna switch up our graphic now as the team switch sides. Okay, box number five of our second of two strings, first of five matches. From Lita Lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. This is the U.S. Invitational. Rich Lamone leading off. That's the Caleri. Four horsemen left. He has the 
Rich is working on a strike. So he's still in the bonus. On the head pin, he's up to 4-7. So on that strike field, 25 after two. For a 10, gets it, 35 after three. For Rich, after five, 35 after five. I'm sorry, 35 after three, third box. It's hard to see the scoreboard here. You're in the third and fourth boxes. Make sure the scores are right. There's been some issues uh, with the scoring. Times. Now, punches out. That's the four seven left. Three six ten right. Okay. He's at thirty five. Right. So thirty five after eight, three. Eight is filled there. Right? Yep. Right. Eight in the strike fill. Missed it again. Middle rather. They'll need at least three here. Hatchman coming to eighteen and thirty on the bubble for a playoff spot right now. Plenty of time though. Eight box. 43 after four for Rich Lamone. 127. Second bowler, Aaron Fontaine in the two spot, moving up in the third spot in the first string. He has a tough five, 18. Aaron had a 102 in the first string. On lane 35. 4-7 left. Chance here. There, now two on the right, six and ten pin. Third ball, third box, second string. It's not after three for Aaron Fontaine. 136 is the team total. Lost by 18 in the first. Four points if they can win this string of the match. We'll, give them, we'll bring them to 22 and 32. Nice hit. Triangle corner. Right side. Has the nine pin in the back. Six and ten on the right. Currently they're at 18 and 32 after that first loss. Four more matches coming up today from Lita Lanes at the U.S. Invitational in Nashua. For a 10, he missed it wide left, seven, uh, eight blocks, 35 after four for Aaron Fontaine. Four for the team. Third bullet, Chris Winniars. Pulled fifth, actually. Pulled anchor last string. Had three strikes, double strike in the third and fourth. Box. Had a strike in the tenth box to close the deficit to 18. Six. First box is here in the second string. Third box on the head pin. Got some wood to help him here. Five, nine on the middle there. Seven pin on the left. Could use a mark here. Sweeps. Take for the spare. Nice shot there by the wizard. Lead the match there. John Blaze is still working on his spare though, so 10 
two, two balls. So we're just about even. If you, all right, five for Phil, seven. You need to, uh, every time you have an open, open box, you lose pins. 35 is stuck again. So a little bit of delay here. So Bob, do you want to tell the audience how we do this setup here? How many cameras we have here and well, what it um, takes to set it up? I'm working with a, with, a, with a live stream setup using Facebook. I've got, a, I got using my cell phone uh, uh, up, up front on a, on a tripod at the top of a rack that's showing you the scoreboard. If you just, if I just showed you the scoreboard from the back view, you wouldn't be able to make out the numbers. So we're, we have a pretty pretty tight end view from about 12 feet away of, of the scoreboard with the cell phone. That's in your upper right hand corner. The rear cam is uh, is from an iPad, and then I use my uh, Pro Book um, using using a many a many cam software, which is a, a software used more by teachers than by sport than by uh, sporting sports broadcasters, but. It, I mean, I'm in the education field, so that, that, that's the software I was familiar with. Only costs about $130, $140 to, and allows you to, I could switch angles. For instance, right now I can show you, uh, here's the logo, the uh, 2021 team championship logo. That's a, a wooden piece painted and uh, carved out by, by Steve Reno Sr. Um, there was a different different championship logo. He, he, had, he had one made up, made up that Josh Daly won uh, during the singles competition, and I put that down in the corner. So that, that that's an image that's an image I'm, I keep on one of my uh, on one of my screens. And now the lane is back in order. Chris, I'll bring you back to Paul. Thank you, Bob, for explaining that. A lot of work behind the scenes. He puts in countless number of hours. And of course, Paul's on the uh, remote. Remsen microphone, it which is you get signal directly into the, uh, which into I have the, no clue how to set up into the computer. On any given day, one or two of those things. Sometimes Facebook doesn't like it. Sometimes, uh, sometimes the computer doesn't like it. But here's Chris Winniers. He's on a spare here. He's off to the right. Oh. Punches thin. Only a three fill. I've seen a lot of small fills for the Hatcherman. 29 after three. Of course, I had the uh, logo up. Can you pick it up, though? Good comeback. Leads up the nine and the ten pin. And it's fourth box here in the second string. For a ten, gets nine. 38 after four for the Wizard. 166 team total in the second string for the Hatchetman. Lead is back to 10. Jo John is working on a spare though. Dummy team up by 10 in the string, 28 in the match. After winning the first by 18. Here's the duck pin king right here. John Blaze on the fill. Six, triangle left side. Has the four, seven, eight, 10 pin on the right. The sixth, the sixth fill, get a, a strike spare early. 36 after two for another one. Oh, come oh, back. Oh, oh, oh the no. ball is right behind the pin, wouldn't go. Four pin stands. This is for a 10, right on it. 46 after three. Put you on. 182 for the team. They need to get to 556 to win the string, 574 to win the match and take four out of six after losing the first by 18 to the dummy team. Solid head pin hit, but two full. Spread eagle minus one. We have the two and the four on the left. Three, six, 10 pin on the right. Close to the three on the right. Kicks it over, can it go back to her? Oh my the goodness! wants to fall the right, will it go? No! Almost! What a try! It's got something under it there. And gets a nine out of that. 55 after four. Anchorman Pete Pereira coming up here. 
He had two tens to start off the second string, filling in here now for the hatchet man. Yeah, John's the only one beating his dummy right now. He's at 55. Pete Pereira had started off with two 10 boxes. He's two down to his dummy opponent who manages it. Always gets that uh, spare one. Right, so we give this a ride. He's got the three, six, ten on the right, seven pin on the left. Nudged it on the outside, wouldn't go. Just one pin. Two tens to start, looking for another one to go to 30 after three. Close to the wood in the middle and sweeps it all down. Three ten boxes, 30 after three. 201 for the team so far in the second of two strings here at Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire at the U.S. Invitational. 556 to win, 574 to win the match. Down 18 coming into the second string. Fourth block, second string, the Caleri. One, three, six, ten, four horsemen, right? Eight pin in the back. Can you pick it up? Give it a try, only got a couple. There's a six ten on the right, eight pin on the back. Looking for his fourth ten box of the string. Not, nothing doing there. Seven box, 37, 37. After four, 208 team total for the Hatchetman. Of course, the dummy's got a 220, so the difference is 12. 12 pin lead, add 18 to the deficit also, so 30 pin in the match. 30 pin lead for the dummy team. Hatch, we really need to get four here. Four points, four pins, four points. Two for the string, two for the total. And have to start marking up. They have no marks right now on the board. Back to the top of the order, Rich Lamone. Close to the right. Four down, six. One, two, four, seven. Stand. Looking for a spare here. Chopped out two. For a 10 somehow, gets eight. 51 after five. Three pin gains, three pin more, three pins more for the dummy team lead. Six box, second string. Lamont on the head pin, solid, will it go? He's up the six pin. Spare gets it. Rich Lamont delivers <clears throat> in the six box. 61 on the ball after six. 2216 total for the hatchet men. Aaron Fontaine in the two spot. Thirty-five after his, after his first four. Box number five here in the second and final string of our first of five live matches here at Legal Lane to Nashua at the U.S. Invitational. He's off to the left, gets three. This time to the right. The one and two, the six and ten pin on the right. Third ball. Oh. Missed it all. Six. And the dummy's got 11. 41 after five.
Lead is 21 for the dummies. There's one ball coming from uh, Rich Lamone's spare. So he's going to substitution for him now in the sixth block. You can substitute after five boxes as long as you don't get a spare. And who's coming in for him now? Let's see. He's coming in after four, so that's that's a safe time to do it. If you're going to plan to substitute for a guy and he makes a in the sixth and he makes a spare, he's got to finish. The, he's got to finish. Michael Kane up. So Mike Kane was in the first string and then set out the beginning of the second string. It's back in now. The ball is struggling. Sometimes teams will pull him. Give him a break. Oh, what a nice great, out. What a great 10. <laughs> but the dummy's got an 11. Heck of a shot there. So the combination of Rich Lamone and Mike Kane. All right, 51 well, up to six. Was the, first, was the first, first bowler. Yep. Chris Winniars. That's right, that was the second ball, I'm sorry. the left. Trying to get his magic from the first string. He had three strikes, including a double in that first string. Eight box. Three more. Fifty. Forty-six. Forty-six after three. Four after five. Forty-six after five. Twenty yards. Trying to get it going again here. Six blocks in the second string. Head pin. Splits it. Six ten right side, seven pin left side. Try to use the wood. Question here is whether he can get the ball to take the corner off the wood. I'm not sure. It's pretty far away. Hatchman needs some marks to get back in this match. Maybe with a little spin. Good try. I capped it. Ten pin remains. For a ten, for a fifty-six, after six, he's at it. John Blaze coming up here on thirty-six. Fourth of five bowlers. Nice hit. Half with their left though. Ten pin on the right. See if he uses wood to help him out. It's gonna be tough. That eight pin in the back of the two pin. So we can do this one. Hits it solid, but the eight pin remains. His first five after five gets nine sixty four after five for John Blaze. Batchman still up in the string. Won the first by eighteen. Dummy team did. Six box second string here from Legal Lanes in Nashville. U.S. Invitational. Wouldn't make it difficult here. This is for a spare. Nails it though. Good shot. Hit the wood just right. 74 and a ball at the six. 270. Nine is it or 273? 279 is the team total. We're going up against a 330. Here's Pete Pereira, the anchor bowler. 
He's off to the right. Seven so far, 37 through four on his fifth. He's hit for a spare, what a shot. 47 in the ball after five. Needs some marks. Unofficially, we're going to confirm that in a second. Here's a spare fill. He's a big fill. He's got nine. Yeah, that's good. That's Seven right. pin left up there. 19 in the box, though. 56 after five for Pete Pereira. Needs this spare. Can he get it? No. He missed it to the right. Seen a few of those today. Those hurt. Bob would say it's about a 72% chance for a pro on a single pin, correct? Yeah, I'm doing a study on corner on pins in the corners, the sevens and the tens. Nine boxes that, out of the gutter. That, that uh, it looks like it looks like the seven pin is going at, at about the normal rate. I, I still don't have a large enough sample, but it looks like the ten pin is going a little lower in the 60s. Um, I'll wait until my numbers come in. I'd like to have I'd like to have 150 in the sample before I uh, make it an official statistic. 65 now after after that nine box for Pete. 65 after six. They're at 307 as a team, and we're back to the top of the order. Rich Lamone is working on a mark. They've got two marks in this the seventh box coming up for the team. So the lead is 23, and we're going to switch sides. Yeah, come on, this seven. Got the three pin on the right, the four and seven on the left. The seven fill gives him 68 after six. Wood comes out of play. It's not going to be an easy shot, regardless, as the four and seven pin remain on the left. Pins on the right, left, left, left side. The crowds here have been phenomenal. The uh, enthusiasm is contagious. Feel, most of the time it feels like an NFL stadium. A little quiet of the first match. Usually people are still waking up and... Hey. 10 bucks. 78. After seven. 324 now, the team total. On the head pin, 475 remaining. The right pin is too far on the side to go for that. I'm not sure. Would you go for that one on the right? I mean, the, your only alternative is to bash the bash the 47 back in the corner and hope something skips back. He's going for it. In the gutter though, Mount lost two. It just has a razor thin margin on that, that ball on the right. Had to be precise on that one. Good try, though. Seven box. After the two came out of the gutter. Ball. It's the lead at 21 again. 39 in the match. You know, Richard's working on a spare in the, uh, in the seventh, but... It's an 85 after eight, Bob. 331 for the team. 556 is the magic number to win the string, but to get four points in the total, 574 is a must. And they just can't seem to get in a roll here, a groove. Here's Mike Kane in the second spot. Got 
the three and six in the right, the seven pin on the left. Not easy, manageable though. Put the far right, missed everything. He had 51 in, the, in his first six. He gets one, eight blocks, 59 after seven. Right scoreboard is easy to read. It's in red and pink. It's easy to read. The white one's harder to read from the distance. Three thirty-nine, right? Oh, crazy lead! Eighth box here, second string. Off a pocket shot. Mike Kane, he's got the six ten on the right, seven to the left. We can nudge those pins over with the wood to the seven pin on the left. Let's take advice from Peter Pereira. They may have some, they may have something up their sleeves here. It's for a spare. Missed it to the left, got one. Another open box. Too many of those today for the hatching men. That was not going to be easy though. And this time he gets it to go. That's the shot he wanted to do. Easier the second time around. 69 after eight for Mike Kane. 349 for the team. Third bowl of Chris Winniar is coming up. It's at 56. Tommy's up to 374. <laughs> 25 pins then. Imaginary thing. All right, look at a strike. Oh, come on. Hang on. Seven pin remains. The wood is there. Yeah, it's touching. It's nice. Oh, no. Oh, no. It just Oh, went away. This target just got a lot smaller. And he goes in the gutter and missed it. Some ball is, would they go for the wood in the right sometimes? That far away? Very few. I would. Um, when, I, when I'm struggling on my on my uh, sevens and tens, I'll, I'll use the wood whenever I can. But, uh, it's, it's not a. I, I think it's a. It's not a shine. It's not a sign of strength <laughs> when you when you play the wood from far away. The ten box gives him 66 after seven. Time is starting to run out on the hatchet, man. It's an eight pin drop, solid hit. The five and the nine pin remaining. Still a chance in the string and the match. Spare would help here. He gets it. That was huge. 76 in the ball after eight. For the wizard. Aaron Fontaine coming up, he's on a spare. I'm sorry, John Blaze. John, John Blaze, rather. John Blaze coming up. On a spare. Start the seventh box here, the second and final string here from Lita Lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire at the U.S. Invitational World Series of Bowling, Pendleton. On the spare. Wow, half Worcester, strikes again, 76 after six. Same spot. Third ball, punches three, tough five. A lot of tough boxes on this side. 81 now after seven. It's about a 30 pin lead for the dummy. Maybe about 48 unofficially in the match. Total's looking grim right now. The hatching men. It'll be at 440 after the eight. 
Two, four, seven left, 10 pin in the corner. We can uh, slide this over. Punch up the two pin. Time is running out on the Hatcherman. Gotta make a move coming up here next. Eight box, 89 after eight. Pete Pereira coming up here, the, anch the anchor man is at 65 yeah. after six. With 89 pins, he's the only one leading his dummy. His dummy is at 88 after eight. Rich Lamone's at 85, he's, he's three down. Uh, the number two bowlers, uh, Mike, Michael Kane now, 69, he's down uh, 19. Good try for a strike there. That's the three pin standing for a spare opportunity. They can't afford to miss this one, Bob. He's on it. Spare on the seventh. 75 on a ball going to the box number eight. Dummy got an 11. Strike would be huge here. He can give him a big spark here with a strike or a huge fill. Oh, no. Spread eagle. That is so demoralizing on a spare. 79 after 7. 247, 3610. Get over! Come on! <laughs> In the hole, they'll get at least three here. Nice out, gets five of the six. 88 after eight for Pete Pereira. Final two boxes of the second and final string of this first of five from Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. Invitational. Dummies with a 33 pin lead, they get 440. We'll give them the extra five now, make that a, a 38 pin lead when they restart. We're gonna... 56 in the match, so it looks yeah. like the best they can do is two pins, two points rather. But they have a long way to go to do, to do that. Split doesn't help. As the two and the four on the left, 610 on the right. Rich Lamone has the 85 after eight coming in this final two. Nice try, don't go. Tim will give him 95 after nine. Nine, so 94 after nine for Rich Lamone. That's 40. 40 is the lead in the string, 58 the lead in the match. Eighteen and thirty coming into the match. The Hatcherman. Still plenty of time though. Difficult to win every string, every match. Looks the seven pin in the corner. Second ball, 10th box. Here's a nice hit, could it go for a Come spare? on, come on, pin, come on. Won't fall. Six pin leaning a little bit there. That would've been a good first ball. Now he's on his third ball. Gets the 10 with a 104 finish for Rich Lamone. And a 116 and a 105 and a 104 rather. 209, two string total. Four twenty six. They have to get to five fifty six somehow with eight boxes to go. One hundred thirty pins.
just to win the string. Mike Kane, second bowler of five. You gotta be kidding me. Another half Worcester. He's at 69 after eight. Final two boxes here of the string. Half Worcester left. And in the hole for a difficult four box, 73 after nine. Not looking good for the hatchet, man. For the dummies. Pretty much need to mark out to have a chance. Missed it. Needs two just for an 80 for the string. He's at the 1710. This is what the third time we've seen that today. Seven box for the 80. Ninety-nine to eighty for Mike King. Two, over 50, it's, uh, two string total of 179. Almost all over but the county. Yep. Chris Winnie is on a spare here. Solid hit. He's up to 610. Eight in the fill. 84 up to eight. 453 is the total. He's 103 somehow. Win the string. Gets to spare. Might need a couple of double strikes to have a chance. 94 in a ball up to nine. More 55 in a ball for the total for the string. 101 they need now. In four plus boxes. <laughs> yeah. He's up with seven, two spares to finish up. So far, try to get a third one to finish up actually. Spare in the eighth, spare in the ninth. He's at 101 right now up to nine. Has the four, seven on the left and 10 pin on the right. This one could block him out. Let's see how he deals with this one. For a third spare in a row, he gets it! The light is still on for the Hatcherman. 111 in the ball. Three in a row for Woody has. Three strikes in the first string, three spears in a row. Closing out the second and final string of the match. They're at 472 right now. Final ball on the spare. What do you know, a half whister? 112 for the string, 113 rather for the string, for the wizard. 117 and 113, a two string total of 230. Yeah, he beat, he beat his dummy opponent by uh, two, 113 to 111, but uh, that 80 in the second, in the second bowler spot. So 474, he 82, somehow in four boxes. Go. Ten box. Ninety-nine after nine for John Blaze. Four eighty-four for the team. So dummy team's going to take six out of six. 
Yep. Nice ball there. Give me up the three and the ten pin for a spare. Hatchman going to fall to 18 and 36 on the bubble for a playoff spot. Ten teams out of 17 will make the playoffs, which start later tomorrow for the finals on Saturday. No spare there, except a 108 for the string. A 10 for 109, and that's where he finishes up, 109. And his dummy got a 111. 224 total for the two strings. For John. 494 for the team. Pete Burrow just closed out the match. Four more coming up today at the U.S. Invitational from Lee Delanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. <laughs> how many? How many have we seen these? We we, we should keep score. <laughs> a lot. He has 88 after eight coming into his final two and in the hole. So that's, that's the way it's gone for the Hatchman today so far. They'll have to regroup for their next match. Here's a solid out, nine drop for this box. 97 now after nine, 503 for the team. Lost the first by 18 and down 53 right now. Plus whatever he gets in this ball. Box. <laughs> wow. Groundhog Day. It's a solid hit. Says over 100 now for the string. Nice 10, get the five and 10. 107 after that 10 blocks, 513. They lose by 43 in the string, 18 in the first, so 61 pin difference in the match. Well, dummies win 555 to 513. That's, uh, I guess that's 42, right? So anyway, dummies win sweep six. And we'll be back with you live streaming here from Lita Lanes. Paul Graham with Bob Lee. We'll be with you in just a moment for our next match. Stay tuned. <laughs> 